as you can see from the title, this is a small rant. <laughs> sorry. Or not, it's probably not sorry. But yes, as you know, I'm a big girl. Yes, I am not, not skinny. Never want to be skinny. It's just the way that if you are skinny, be happy in what you are. I feel like if I was skinny, I'd still be happy being skinny. I will just, whatever God have given me and basically I ate myself to this position anyway. And also got pregnant, so that kind of helps. But I was still bigger anyway before I even got pregnant. So I can't blame my daughter like my mother did. Not the point. That's a different story. But yes, guys. So I don't know what it is. I guess the pants are getting cheaper now. Probably I'm just buying cheaper pants. But I buy stuff from New York and Company. I buy, I think I get things from Burlington and places like that. And I feel like I don't know what it is. Like, Companies just probably don't care what they make their clothes out of anymore or what they're doing. But, honey child, child honey. I'm just so finished nowadays. My jeans, my jeans. My jeans have not even surviving for a year. Probably because I don't have that much because of the situation I'm in right now. I used to have jeans a lot. A lot, of them was, a lot of my clothes are in storage. So, I have like a few things with me where I'm living now until I get them out when I move back to my get move into my apartment. Hopefully soon. Jesus make it be soon. But I bought some pants earlier this year with my little tax check that I got. I wanted a couple of pants and I also needed pants for work. I didn't have that much um pants for work. So I had I bought clothes for work, stuff like that. I bought like probably one or two jeans. Just to have jeans that you know you could, you know, whatever. I'm not even working at a place anymore, but I still wear the clothes that I had when I was working there, Doug, because this is my clothes, really, but, um, yes, my jeans are just getting, you know, like, when you get your thighs rubbed, and the thigh, the inner part, all of my jeans are just getting eaten out by my legs, I'm like, does my legs and my thighs have teeth, I'm confused, I'm getting so much, just like, rubbage, like, back in the day, like, a couple of years ago, like, say, nine, eight, seven years ago, my jeans, that would happen to them, but it'll take over time, like, years, Granted, I had much more clothes with them without me then to like probably like I could go before I could go like probably three or four months without wearing one pair of jeans that I had so much clothes. I can't fit some of those clothes no more. I feel bad for myself. Got a lot of clothes in the storage for me and I can't even fit them no more, which is crazy. I probably, have to lose, probably that's a sign for me to lose weight to get back into my clothes. Probably that should be my goal for next year. Probably won't. I'll probably eat myself to death anyway, but I said I need to lose weight and I probably do need to lose weight at this point. Especially before I have another kid, but not the point. Not, neither here or there. I can, last time they told me to, I had to lose weight. I lost weight when I was pregnant. I lost like 15 pounds, but I'm still gaining like mad weight anyway. So it didn't even matter. I was I was almost 300 pounds when I had my daughter. Almost not there. As Brandy said, almost doesn't count. I wasn't there, but I, I was almost there. But um, but yeah, these jeans. I don't. Th I think I don't know if it's the material. Especially got a lot of stretch jeans. Probably that's the problem. Probably didn't get it by real jeans. But I feel like when you buy real jeans, you have to get a bigger size. So to fool myself to think I'm smaller, you know, I know I'm big already. I get stretch jeans and get a regular size. But if I would get real jeans, I would have to get a si the size upper because that's the one I actually fit in. Probably that's the problem. I have to. I have to look deep into myself first and say, Khadijah, aka K did. Why do you think it's necessary to buy these stretch jeans? Or jack yo, jeggings be yo. Yo, I think it's what it is. Thinner material stuff is the problem. That's why they eat out so fast. I mean, I promise you, I bought this thing probably like March, April. And these jeans leg them bustled. And then the, my work pants them. First it was a jeans one. My work pants them bustled too. And I regular black pants. I know jeans. I regular pants. And I never ever see that before because I feel like I got the other ones from Old Navy. I feel like I never had work pants that, I, that my legs actually ate apart before. I'm like, I'm confused. I never had work pants like that. I only had jeans where that happened to. Now, it's getting to a different level. I guess I'm getting so big that it's, my legs are getting to a different level of eating my clothes. But I guess it's a sign now that I need to. What? Stop eating. Probably not stop eating because if you don't eat, then you die. But eat healthier. I've been saying that for a while. And sometimes I get healthy and then I healthier and I stop. Now I'm taking vitamins. I've taken vitamins for a couple of months now, but I'm taking this one. I think it's called something B, comment, something B, something B. Somebody gave it to me. They told me it's good for energy, but it hasn't been working for energy for me. Um, I think because I was in depression, that really didn't, that wasn't like medication for it. I had to just pray and listen to the, the word. Well, I try to listen to the Bible. I mean, not, I try to read the Bible more. That's like that. That got me out of my depression mode. As, as you'll see in my other video that i done before. Um... But yes, what I was going to say, 
Sorry. But this this vitamin this vitamin thing I just take it because they have a lot of vitamins you know vitamins are good for you and I don't eat that healthy so I try to use that as a supplement <laughs> to kind of like give my boost up boost up but when I get my own place my little my spot my sidekick you know my house or my apartment I'm not even pushing push for the house right now even though I want the house though if I could if I could afford a house I would get the house but right now I'll get an apartment I get that and I have my stove and stuff I'll get to cook more better and have my smoothies and all that it to be better probably I'll document that too who knows. I feel like I'm losing weight now, though. I don't know what's going on. And I don't know. I was going healthy for a little bit, but I don't know what I did to myself. But, yes, the rant is really about these jeans, though. These companies need to stop making these cheap material and make us better clothes for our money. Because I can't be buying jeans every couple of six months. I don't, I don't have a big job. I don't make money off of YouTube like some people. So, I need to, you know, be able... To be able to buy jeans which could last me at least more than a year. Like, come on. Do you have any ideas for these? Like, people, somebody was telling me to put a patch there. But I feel like when you have a patch there, people know that your legs got rubbed out. So, I'm like, I don't want to wait out on the street. So, if you haven't right now. so I, cause It happened to me a few times already that I forgot that the thing had a thing. Cause now, I have to check my legs before I leave the house. Because it's getting to this point. Um, cause Mostly, all my pants now, I feel like, have these, these the things in my pants. Do you have an idea that could help me... Like, now I just cut one leg so I know not to wear it outside. It's kind of, it's hot mess. And I wear it up to, like, bed or something like that. People say, why oh, you wear jeans to bed? I wear different things to bed. I wear a lot of different stuff to bed. So, yes. But now I don't even wear pants anymore. So, it's like, whatever. I just wear a shirt and underwear and, you know, basically that's what. Not the point. I'm giving you too much information about my life right now. I didn't mean to do that. But, yes. So, I wear pants too. I'm not going to lie. I wear pants or shorts too. But, yeah. Um, If any, I have any ideas like what I could do with those pants. Because I'm like... The crotches are just eating out. Not crotches, but the thigh parts are just eating out. I'm like, I don't know what to do. What can I do? Like, for real. Any big girls out there know. And apparently, it's not even a big girl thing. Because this girl, she wears a size, I think, 10. And she said, oh, her pants are getting eaten out, too. So, I'm like, I don't know if it's a big girl thing, a little girl thing, or just a person thing. But people pants, crotches, are, not crotches. Keep, what are they crotches for? People thigh placements on their jeans and pants are just getting, it's ridiculous. And things are not cheap nowadays. Things are getting more expensive. And plus, you have to, I always have to get on the MTA. With they stuff keep on going up and up and up, I mean, even price that would be cheap and I better quality. I mean, I'm just asking. I'm mean, just an ox, all right? All right. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for just being my crew to listen to. Bye, Davis pe- people. As you know, Davis is my last name. So, yes, we're one of them. I have two, but not the point. It's neither here or there. If you want to be my friend on Facebook, you know, it's right there on the link on my channel. And I have Instagram. I just started, I'm starting to use it back now. So I'm like, whatever. I mostly have my daughter's picture. Well, I have mostly her pictures on it, I feel like, though. And Snapchat, I really don't use like that. But I have one. Probably I should use it. People use it. I don't know. My brother, I don't know. He has a, a Snapchat. Probably because it's stuff you take a picture of it and it disappears after a while. I really don't understand. God, I don't really give time to Snapchat, but I love mostly Facebook. That's my, I'm a fiend for that. But, yo, it's a different thing. I'm surprised Facebook actually lasts as long after MySpace. I thought after MySpace is going to be in, because it was High Five. I don't know if the rest of the world had High Five, but I know because I was Jamaican, a lot of people in Jamaica had High Five. So, that was a Caribbean, like, MySpace. They had MySpace, but it wasn't as, it was too much for, to, to use the data, so they usually most use the High Five and stuff like that. And now everybody's on Facebook. And Facebook every minute coming out with a new thing so people could just stay on there. I'm like, I don't get it. I don't know how it's lasting this long. I think it's called Zuckerberger, Zuckerberger, Zuckerberg, whatever his name is, Macaberger, Hamburger, who knows. But um, I don't know how he's doing. He needs to tell me some stuff so I can get my life together and get this money up on. But it is what it is. One day things will happen. But, you know, it is what it is. Thank you for listening, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for, hopefully you got this far in the video to see my crazy nuttiness. But, yes. Thank you for watching, and peace to you, my boos. <laughs> Girls and guys, I don't know who's watching this, so yeah. Later, guys.